test drive and a little bit of modern muscle in the shape of a 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8. This of course powered by a 6.1 liter Hemi. This one a little bit of a not so regular, regularly seen model has a six speed manual transmission. It's really hard to find with these Dodge Challengers. This car here in particular is showing around, or actually just under 6,500 original miles. So this car is just barely been broken in. Finished in a stunning blue pearl exterior. Great exterior color on these. Black leather interior. Really a nice driving car, just kind of cruising, plenty of power just to get up to speed. Transmission shifts nicely, has that kind of old school pistol grip, really reminiscent of the old school Mopars. Like, even though the exteriors of these cars and these Challengers Dodge did such a great job making them look the part of the old Challengers. It's, like, it's, not, it's night and day to driving an old Challenger. I mean, I've got ice cold AC, I've got power everything, power steering, power brakes, power windows, remote trunk release. Any gauge that I could ever want. I got a G meter. Uh, eighth mile timer, quarter mile timer. Of course, you won't, of course, wouldn't use those on the road. It's just a comfortable car, heated seats, and these seats have quite a bit of padding, and they've got nice large bolsters that keep you in place while keeping you comfortable. It's a nice cruising car, and then here just doing about 60 miles an hour, just under 1500 RPMs, and it's silent on the interior, and I have no road noise, no wind noise. It's just comfortable. It's just the benefit of these modern muscle cars. They are just a nice, comfortable driving car. Also very fun. And these cars they handle actually fairly well for how just how large these new Challengers are. In the rear end, instead of a straight axle like you would have had in the classic Challenger, you have an independent rear suspension, which is a huge improvement on the handling and makes a huge difference on a car of this size. Going around the roundabout, I mean, it's just evident. I mean, the car actually can handle. Just hardly broken in at just under 6,500. 